guys, what's going on? Welcome back to 3J Gaming. Good fellow Joey here, joined by Heavy J. Today, we are going to be talking about a game that we are very excited for coming out next year, and that is Monster Hunter World. Jay, when this game got announced at E3 last year, I could not believe it. I could not believe that we were going to be getting a Monster Hunter game on Xbox One, on PS4. I mean, it, it blew my mind. It didn't give us that much information at E3 about it. And over time, started piecing stuff together. And this game is huge. It's a lot like the 3DS games and a whole lot more. And I cannot wait. So guys, buckle up. Get ready because we're going to give you our reasons as to why Monster Hunter World is going to be one of the best games of early 2018. So the multiplayer is going to be obviously one of the greatest aspects of this game that was you know one of the best parts of 3ds was the fact that getting to play with friends in this big world where you're hunting monsters the other great thing about it is it's a brand new continent completely separate from anything we've seen on 3ds so it's completely new it's going to feel completely new look completely new <clears throat> i'm sure there's going to be some of the same monsters from previous iterations along with a whole bunch of new ones same goes with weapons armors uh, they're bringing back every weapon type that has been in any uh, Monster Hunter before. So I believe it's 12, 13 weapon types. I'm sure we're going to get some old favorites as well as some brand new uh, goodies we're going to get to craft. Uh, so I'm you know, just completely and utterly excited for this game. I mean, it's, it's a huge game that was super fun on uh, the 3DS. I mean, there's been you know, so many titles in the series. And now with the ease of it coming to console and the multiplayer aspect being so easy to just jump in and game with, you know, four people, that is going to be, I think, really one of the bigger games of the year. I mean, it's already one of the biggest games ever on 3DS, and now you're bringing that to the consoles, you know, four-player co-op, big, huge world, tons of stuff to do, tons of weapons to craft, tons of armor to craft, tons of monsters to hunt. I mean, you know, you even get to a point sometimes if you play it as much as, you know, someone like me or, you know, a lot of other people put thousands of hours into it where you're trying to beat your own best times, you know, as to, you know, if you can, you know, how fast you can beat certain monsters. So, you know, there's just so much to do in this game and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Definitely going to be a game that I'm probably going to play throughout the year regardless of what else comes out. Mark it on your calendars, guys. January 26th, Monster Hunter World. Jay, final thoughts? Well, I think one thing that's very important to me is a game that's going to be supported. Now, in 2017, we've had so many great games just be absolutely mishandled. And that's been really, really heartbreaking. But the good news is it seems like Capcom is answering our prayers and our call for games that do not have any kind of microtransactions, no loot boxes, and Capcom has continued to support, patch, and update Monster Hunter World for quite a while after this release. And I actually love those kinds of games. I'm a, as you guys know, I'm a really big supporter of Diablo 3, and they are still coming out with updates and seasons for Diablo 3. And the fact that I can take this game and continue to play it years down the line hopefully and have new adventures is phenomenal that makes it 100 percent worth it to where everything that i own i earned everything that you owned you earned and that we can go adventuring for years to come one of the best things about any monster hunter game that i've played on the 3ds was always the co-op, playing together. Four people going hunting these massive beasts, trying to get uh, scales and teeth and you know whatever items and loot you needed to create that next best weapon, that next best armor. Unfortunately, with the 3DS, you needed the friend code, you needed people who actually played uh, Monster Hunter. I think I had a group of maybe six people. Not everyone was always on at the same time. And when we did, though, it was complete magic. So with this being a console, I cannot wait to be able to play with all of my friends without having to have a friend code like the 3DS did. 
that's one of the things that I'm really excited for the most, the ease of being able to play Monster Hunter. Uh, Jay, you know, what are you excited for regarding the multiplayer in Monster Hunter World? They've let us know through different sources that there's going to be these game hubs inside the villages that are you know, your safe zones, like you're pretty much your towers of this game where you can store your stuff, you can cook your food, all that kind of stuff. And you can set it up to where uh, once you get a mission to go hunt one of these monsters, you can pin it up on a board and see if anybody else wants to join you on that hunt. And I think that's awesome to have an in-game looking for group on something that you are specifically doing and what other people are specifically doing. If you're wanting to hunt a specific monster, even if you don't have a quest for it, you can go look and find other people that are hunting that same exact monster. And to be able to do that without an outside source, like Xbox looking for group or forum pages or anything like that, I think that's awesome to where it's going to be nice and easy to jump into a group and go monster. Yeah, that's that was always such a big deal on the 3DS versions of Monster Hunters, and those games were absolutely amazing. I mean, I had, uh, as you know, thousands of hours across all the, you know, different Monster Hunters, probably from 3, you know, through 4 Ultimate. Um, so it was always hard trying to get everyone together to play, you know, four players. So you go and you go solo and you try to beat your, you know, your best times. You know, you can absolutely destroy monsters by yourself if you're good enough, if you have the, you know, strong enough weapons, uh, if you're skilled. And in this one, being able to just go and see, hey, you know, here's a list of, you know, the people that are, you know, what they're doing. Here's the monsters they're hunting. And if you want to go and you want to join that group and there's openings, bam, easy don't have to wait for anyone already got a party that is just absolutely it's it's really mind blowing when it comes to monster hunter it's something i never thought i'd see yeah i never thought i'd see the game on my consoles but uh you know that aspect of it is really a huge draw to the game and something that i think fans of the series um from the 3DS are going to really, really appreciate and enjoy on console. Well, there you have it, guys. There's some of our top reasons why this is a must-buy for us this year. I hope that you guys will join us on our adventures and on our hunts. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It really does support us. And if there's anything that you want to see on the channel, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And as always, this is for you, bro.